SeaSionade in April 2010 and um, I didn't feel my medical care was great and we felt that there was no support in women and their partners in regard to this condition in pregnancy and it's always been important to me that we needed to invest in research in regard to um, how we manage parents going through a people in pregnancy. Many are told to um, end the pregnancy if they lose the waters before 24 weeks um, and they aren't given any hope um, in some places. Um, and we basically tell other people's stories of people stories of the parents that we help through the condition and their babies have been coming home. Um, we know not all babies come home, but we know that there is some babies going home and these parents who endure PPROM in pregnancy deserve to know um, the details. And we have um, been researching for um, intervention for PPROM but we really wanted and felt it was necessary that we needed to invest in um, people before 24 weeks. Um, and we've just um, achieved again, um, the people guidelines for over 24 weeks with the Royal College of Gynecologists and Opticians, which we are very proud of, but we, there is a big gap for under 24 weeks. So what I've got here is um, a guideline uh, from June 2019 uh, green top guideline number 73 which is for the care of women presenting with suspected preterm pre-labor rupture of membranes or prom from 24 weeks of gestation so this is a fantastic resource it's got all the evidence in to help us manage women who where the waters break after 24 weeks of pregnancy great for doctors and will deliver excellent uh, patient care so what do i do as a doctor then if i meet a woman whose waters break before 24 weeks well that's a problem because actually we don't have very good evidence and that's why they couldn't include it on this guideline and so what that means is that doctors up and down the country don't really know what to do in that situation we try and do our best and base it on what we think we know um, but the best thing about this study is that we're going to collect actual data we're going to know what happens and then hopefully we can use that data to write a more informed guideline for the care of women where the waters break below 24 weeks and for me that is a massive bonus. So how is this study going to actually help women, help patients? Well we can't help women until we can make sure that doctors know what they're doing and to make sure doctors know what we're doing we need a guideline and for a guideline we need evidence. So we've gone back to square one and we're trying to look for the evidence, okay what is really happening out in current clinical practice, are these babies surviving? Uh, we've got a really amazing um, patient support group, Little Heartbeats, who've come to us and said, look, we've got survivors of ruptured membranes from as early as 13, 14 weeks. And, you know, any other day of the week, I'd have said, absolutely not, no way, not possible, because there's no data out there to say that that's even, even possible. And actually, we've got living proof that the, these cases are happening. And so if we can just collect the data and see what is true, we can then cascade that down into a guideline. The guideline will cascade into patient information leaflets and that will just help women up and down the UK, if not the world, um, look at this particularly rare event and, um, and hope for better outcomes in the future.